Battaglia. This is the one I'm looking for. It's right here. When I'm over here, you see that? That's the run. And that's how you score. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Salvio to review today. Um, I have a different chemistry style on the card because we just bought one on the market. We're going to have to do these reviews pretty quickly and then sell them because I know that they're going to go down in market value afterwards. Um, so we are looking at a card here that is looking pretty nice, to be honest with you. Because of Salvio and Lissandro Lopez having that Liga Noj uh, background with Salvio being a Befica legend and Lissandro Lopez being an FC Porto legend, really, really cool variable for me in the future just in case i play the game more to get those cards right but we're looking at a player here that is five foot eight with high medium work rates right footed four star four star so we're already starting off really nicely the big thing with this card is that he also has physical base stats so physicality is also pretty nice as well so being five foot eight he has 75 strength with 89 stamina 83 aggression and 99 jumping so Pretty nice in that regard. 97 acceleration, 91 sprint speed. You don't have to uh, increase the pace in the general sense if you don't want to. Uh, this is the type of card that I really think with specifically the sniper chemistry style, I think this card would look absolutely brilliant. I want to show you guys what he would look like with the sniper chemistry style. You can see that he has a 97 acceleration, 91 sprint speed, plus 12 for the finishing to make it 99 finishing, 94 shot power with 97 composure with that four star weak foot so would be a very huge plus in the card obviously in the general sense um shooting stats again the finishing you can see it's very noticeable you do want to increase that as much as possible to make them as usable as possible in that general area um this chemistry style gives him a boost in the passing in my genuine opinion i think him in the cam position with 90 short passing and 77 long passing would already be really good we're going to be trying him out in different positions as we progress in the game. Uh, dribbling stats, like I said, if you give him the sniper chemistry style, you're basically maximizing his potential, especially with very high 90s in regards to the general dribbling stats. With 89 reactions, I expect this card to move really nicely. It's going to be interesting to try out with this chemistry style in general because you want to see how he's going to move, even if it's just this chemistry style, right? So... Um uh, anything else to review in the card? We're looking at dribbling. Dribbling is obvious, and then that's pretty much it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys how we're going to be lined up in-game with this card. It's going to look like this. So we're going to go ahead and show you guys how we're going to line up. Uh, the formation is going to look like this. We're going to be using the 4-2-3-1, and we want to start him off in the striker position. Right, because I want to see what he's like attacking wise. How does he utilize the empty space uh, and whatnot in the striker position? Because that is one of the positions you could potentially uh, use this card in. And then as the game progresses, we will be rotating him around the pitch to see where he's best utilized. For me personally, I think that because of sentimental value and because of in game value, I think he's going to be best utilized in the center cam position or the right cam position, specifically. The right cam position so because he has that 89 stamina we are going to be able to do the whole comeback defense thing with him as well uh because he won't really lose his stamina if we progress forward so a lot of different variables that make this card really nice we're gonna have to try him out in game and see how he plays so let's get into a game and see uh and see how beast he is this is an interesting team to come up against here um this guy's obviously he was doing objectives as well got Kovacic's card so this should be an interesting game to try him out in Oh, speed up lag, lovely. Positioned himself quite, quite nicely to receive the ball. That pass off was really fast, so that's going to be a noticeable thing. Let's see what he's going to be like here. Does he utilize the empty space there? He switches positions with the other player. That was actually really nice. That's the off the ball movement that I always look for. He understood that Perisic was transitioning off to the left side, so Salvio went off to the right side. That was really nice for the striker position. His dribbling is actually really nice. I think with the sniper chemistry style, it'll be even better in my opinion, uh, especially because of that composure boost with pressure on him. Um, the way that the, the stats were increased, it even looks like the composure boost would be very helpful. Let's try a shot from that angle specifically. So that angle specifically, kind of facing somewhat at a 90 degree, somewhat facing outwards. We're going to see right here. Yeah, he's more outwards. We took the extra touch for the 90 degree. Doesn't directly hit it to the side like someone like... Um, well, uh, this is without the finishing boost as well, because he obviously has 87 finishing, so can't really even talk about that, really. 
But, you know, still hits it decently with a great power in it behind the ball as well. Nicely done. Nicely done. Utilizes the empty space really well. You never really want to do a 1-2 pass in those general situations because uh, the player himself will make a better run than the 1-2 pass you do. Because 1-2 plays... Uh, one two plays the players usually run in a straight line but if you just lay the ball off with the player they're gonna utilize that empty space a little better right so like right off the bat there you can see that he just runs into the empty space instantly which is brilliant and I think that in the right cam position that probably be the best utilization of the card sticks to his position really nicely there as well that in those positions you want to mostly transition into the middle and then go to the uh, and then go to the... You want to transition backwards, go to the CDM area, and then transition back into the middle to the striker there. I really like this card, man. I, I Hopefully in the future I can definitely pick him up, because this card with a sniper chemistry style would be absolutely filthy. Utilizes the empty space really well right there. No, no, it doesn't register my skill move. I love this gameplay. Yeah, so as a striker, he's really good, guys. I actually really enjoy using him there. I think he understands how to utilize the empty space. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and try him in the central cam position because I want to see what he's like positioning-wise to lay the ball off to other players and um, how he transitions going up and back because of the fact that he has an 89 stamina with the uh, high-medium work rates. The high-medium work rates is really suggesting to me that I want to use him um, specifically in that right cam position. Nice pass right there. Wait for that run. He does a good run right there, which is perfect. I'm just going to have the shield right here. Yeah, he utilized the empty space at the top. So he didn't really stay on the edge of the 18-yard box, which you can definitely set in that position right there. But he did really he did really well there. I'm obviously forcing the ball to see where he moves in the general sense, but really good movement. So again, stays in position really nicely to receive the ball in the cam position. Utilizes the empty space instantly. Runs into it without me doing a 1-2 pass. So... Take that into consideration that this card, when he sees the empty space, he's going to get into it instantly. Still utilizes the cam position, so he doesn't forcefully go up yet. Yeah, goes back into position again. He keeps looking for the empty space. His movement, is that's the whole part of the movement with this card. You see that right there? If that pass was actually done properly, he would have utilized that empty space in the middle instantly. He was already ready to make that transitioning run. See? Always goes into the empty space. My boy has any free kicks? He has 84 free kick accuracy. So free kick accuracy will do it like right about... Uh, actually... Let's see if we can do it against the defender here. Ooh, with a scoop turn and the finish. Very nice. Let's go. Okay, so the cam position, he's really good. The next game, we're going to try him out in the right attacking mid position. We're going to try him out there and see how he plays. This is an interesting team. He has a shapeshifters Alexander Arnold with Mares. This is like a team you would see like in real life, you know, just the way that it's like formatted. Have a look now at the lineup for the visiting team. Mark Andre Testegan starts in goal. Ivan Pedersen aggressively pushes up, goes back into position. Utilize that empty space. That's the one. That's see that right there. That's the space that I'm looking for. If this gameplay was responsive, it would read, it would have registered my driven that my uh, my drag back cut inside there, but. Um, dude, that, you see that transition run that they make in the right attacking position to the middle position? That's what you want to see um, from the players you use on the side. So, because I realized with his cam position and his uh, striker position that he was always running into empty space, I had a good idea that he was going to do that on this card for sure. This is the one I'm looking for. It's right here. When I'm over here, you see that? That's the run. And that's how you score. That right there is exactly what I'm talking about. That's why in the right attacking position, he's going to be an absolute monster there. All right, guys. So final verdict on the card. Yeah, dude. Uh, in the future, if his price ever goes lower, I think this card's going to be really sick. I ended up selling him for 1K lower than I, uh, than I bought him for. Obviously, there's tax as well, which is a really annoying thing. But obviously, I got to get these player reviews out for you guys. Because you guys know how I is when it comes to this stuff. Um, guys. With a sniper chemistry style, you're honestly looking at an absolute monster of a card, okay? Because I think this card specifically that I had, it had...
I'm trying to find the chemistry style that it was using. It was the maestro chemistry style, but you can see that you kind of lack in the really high and then improved balance stats in general. And then you're obviously lacking in the finishing department as well. So I really think that if you give him the sniper chemistry style, you increase his dribbling to be essentially really, really responsive. You're looking at a very good card. I want you guys to notice something with this card, okay? If you take off any of the chemistry styles, look at his attacking positioning being at 98 already, right? So when you start to make those transitioning runs to the side, this player will instantly utilize that middle position. It is single-handedly the only good attacking AI thing that EA has added this year. Everything else is completely random, but that one specifically is the one that you wanna look for. In the right attacking position, with the four star weak foot and the sniper chemistry style, that part of his gameplay in the right side or on the right side is going to be a huge thing in my genuine opinion. So um, the card's amazing. When the card goes lower in price, maybe we can buy him in the future, we'll see. But uh, I really, really enjoyed using him. So hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed the video. I'll try to get some other reviews later today. Peace out dudes, love you guys.